Hello chess enthusiasts, my name is Michal and welcome to my chess realm YouTube channel. So if you are following chess events, maybe you have come across the Ibero-Americano uh, tournament played in Panama City uh, in the third round, a very interesting game between Sandro Mareco and Sergio Duran Vega. Let's see what happened. Sandro Mareco had white pieces and he started with e4, c5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5. And we have the so-called Nezmedino Rosso Limo attack in the Sicilian defense. Black plays g6, white castles king side, bishop goes to g7, and now c3. So white is preparing to strike the center, and black responded with e5, further protecting this uh, d4 square, but white doesn't care, d4 was played anyway. So C pawn captures on D4, C pawn recaptures on D4, and E pawn recaptures on D4. Pawn on D4 is uh, twice protected. White cannot recapture it, so White has sacrificed the pawn. Bishop to F4 was played, as proposed by the theory, and moreover, I have found more than 200 games with the same position. So the position is uh, very well known. Knight from G to E7 or A6 are the most common replies. Knight from G goes to E7 was played in the game, and now White plays Bishop to D6. A very important move. White blocks this D pawn, making it more difficult for Black to develop his pieces. Now A6 was played, attacking the Bishop. Bishop goes back to D3. Black castles King side. Knight from B goes to D2. White is continuing with the development. And here black should have continued with uh, b6, or maybe even b5. Uh, black is a pawn up, but has to develop the pieces, so here black would fianchetto his bishop on b7. Instead, rook goes to e8. Not the best move, black loses additional support for this f7 pawn, and you will see immediately uh, in the game a4 was played, now b6, preparing to fianchetto of a black's light square bishop, and now a white plays bishop goes to c4. And we have reached the critical position in the game, so white is targeting this f7 square. Well, rook to f8 doesn't help, uh, because knight to g5 double attacks on this f7 square, and this is simply deadly. So in the game, knight to a5 was, would, have be, would have to be played, attacking uh, bishop on c4 and also protecting this b3 square. After knight to a5, then even after uh, bishop to f7, king to f7, uh, queen cannot go to b3 in order to attack the king. So after uh, b4, knight from e would go to c6. Black, of course, returns the piece. Uh, b pawn captures on a5, knight recaptures on a5. And it's a complicated position, but white only has a slight advantage. In the game, h6 was played. And white immediately uses the opportunity. Bishop captures pawn on f7. King has to uh, recapture or bishop captures a uh, rook and black would be an exchange down. So uh, king captures on f7 was played. Queen to b3 check. Now king has two options, either uh, f6 or f8. Well, let's see. After king to f6, then e5 check. Knight captures on e5. Bishop recaptures on e5. Uh, King to f5 is the only move. Now queen to f7 check. King goes to uh, g4, uh, h3 check. Uh, king goes to h5 is the only move. And now uh, g4 is checkmate. So in the game, king to f8 was played. Knight goes to g5, another stunning move. Threatening mate on f7 with queen, or even knight on h7 is also mate. 
So black has no other option but to capture this knight on g5 and this is what happened, h pawn captures on g5 and now f4 try to open this f file for rook well let's see after g pawn captures on f4 rook recaptures on f4 check now the this knight on e7 is pinned uh, so bishop to f6 is the only option rook captures on f6 uh, check king to g7 queen to f7 check if king to h8 then rook to a3 it's gonna be made no matter what black does If king to h6, then bishop to f4, check, uh, king to h5, queen to h7, uh, king to g4, and h3 is checkmate. Okay, so in the game, g4 was played, keeping uh, the f-file closed, but now f5 is the last throw. There isn't much to be done here now. Okay, for example, a random move. Let's say a5, then f pawn captures on g6 check. Uh, bishop to f6 is the only option. And queen to f7 is checkmate. If black wants to keep the file close after uh, g5, then f6 uh, threatening with mate in 1. So after bishop captures on f6, rook recaptures on f6, king goes to g7, queen to f7, king h8, and rook h6 is checkmate. And after, uh, let's say, bishop to h8, f pawn captures on e7, and here uh, white wins decisive material. And realizing that all is lost in this position, Sergio Duran Vega resigned the game. So I hope you liked the game. I hope you have learned something for you. If you have any questions, my email is below in the description. Of course, I invite you to visit my Instagram page. That's it for now, and see you soon.